I don't have any mission left. Unless Sergey gives me something I didn't know. Sugar to hyperactivity and inattentiveness in kids. As there you go. Either I go to Rome or Taipei. And I did say I was going to Taipei to see if I could um, get in touch with our love interest, you could call her. Ah, Championic, okay. Born in St. Petersburg as Pavel Veniev. Well, he's the Championic was not his real name. He grew into a touring young man fond of basketball. In his mid-teens, the local gym owner took him under his wing, convinced Baniev that he would be a phenomenal boxer, and owner was not disappointed. Before the, his 18th birthday, Pavel was winning bouts against boxers with three times his experience, steadily rising through the ranks to compete in the international uh, to compete in international competitions. Why didn't they say tournaments? Okay, even winning the gold medal in the 2008 Summer Olympics. Not long ago, champion Chick accepted a contract with businessman Sergei Sukov, who claimed his life was in danger due to skeleton underworld tensions in Moscow. However, relying on champion Chick's image as a national hero likely helps Surkov far more than his brawn. And as long as Surkov keeps paying him handsomely, the boxer has no cause to complain. His previous coaches, of which he has gone through many, have remarked that Pavel is ill suited for the life of a bodyguard should things become dangerous. While intimidating, Championing has a simple minded reliance on that when a fight starts, it will be settled with fists. This was attended a attended hospital stay in 2005 after an altercation with several drunk infants resulting in. The removal of two bullets from his, le his left leg. Had the bullet hit a major artery, he would have never lived long enough to win his medal in boxing. What do you know? The federal government, by greatly restricting Taipei, it is. Alpha Protocol Sci-Fi in Taipei, which should serve as the base of operation for attempting to thwart the assassinations of Ronald Tsung. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go there. Yeah, it would make sense if I'm in Russia. Taipei is closer than... than... Rome. This is it. After Moscow, I was expecting something a little more upscale. Maybe you should unwind after the flight. Maybe take a shower. Are you sure water actually comes out of the pipes here? Just trust me on this, Mike. <laughs> that that thing, holy crap. This is a hellhole. Well, I actually reflect on them. What the fuck? Can this... Take a shower, she said. Are you okay. sure about Trust me. Okay. See? What did I tell you? I stand corrected. This is a hell of an operation center. I'll be able to do some real good here. I'm glad you like it. Now that you've made it to Taipei, what are your plans? Priority one is to find out more about this assassination attempt. Agreed. How are you going to go about it? I've got three leads to start with. 
this Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I've checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Isn't that why you love me? You watch yourself out there, Mr. Thornton. Always. Okay. E my six enters. Hey, Mike, one of my filters picked up this. Sort of with my interest with the sender and receiver are both MI6 British agents. I wonder how long, if ever, it will take the public to learn who was behind the attack on Sahid. Okay. All me contacts confirm an attempt on Sahid Shrik Sahid. Preliminary report suggests an association of cruise missile need better details. Israel, yes, both are being quiet, but consistently quiet. They don't have their talking points memorized, and that suggests this is news to them, too. Talking points. Hate those things. Where is my... My... Appearance changer or whatever it's called. Ah, here it is. Let's go with this one, why not? Yeah, this looks right. <laughs> She just gave their lives for this jacket. Well, Mina wrote way to score. I think she custom framed it just for me. How oh, nice. More mob violence in Moscow earlier this week as the home of Konstantin Brinkel. Let's go. To be the head of one of the most Contact Honchi. Contact Stian Heck. Let's go with Honchi. Meet with the influential threat boss, Hong Chi, whose monetary connection with Sahid suggests global connections and deep pockets. Find out what he knows about the assassination plot or if he's involved. Hmm. Now, let's go on this one. Meet with local informant Stephen Heck, who seems to know a lot about what's transferring in Taipei. See what he knows about the attempts on Sang Life and if he there's anything you can do to stop it. Yeah. Dressed in the way where they were actually drenched. Hello? In the back. With you in a sec, buddy. Not too uncomfortable, I hope. Now this, this is dry cleaning solution. Active ingredient is perchloroethylene. Get stains out like a champ. Like a champ when, believe you me. Gonna be hard getting that stuff down his throat. Want me to get a funnel? A funnel? Yeah! That's a killer idea! 
So you remember where they are now, do you? Candy fish. Ah, that does it, Wen. You know I don't like sweet. Oh, the candy dish! That's right! That's where I left my keys. Should have said something earlier, Wen. You see what I almost made you drink? <laughs> Good old Wen. Always getting into antics. Anywho, what can I do you for? I'd like to know more about Ronald's son. That is, if it won't cost me any important body parts. You came to the right place. And you're lucky you did. See, people come in and out of Taipei all the time without asking for clearance, so then I have to erase them so they don't expose me. I wasn't aware you had jurisdiction here. What are you trying to hide, exactly? My secret identity and everything I know, that's what. Listen, did you know that in the 1960s, the CIA surgically jammed a mic and antenna into a cat for an op codenamed Acoustic Kitty? No, I've never heard that. Have you heard of anything relevant to my previous question? Oh, it's relevant. Just between you and me. And when. You're with the agency, am I right? I'm with an agency, but U.S. tax dollars don't keep the lights really? on. Really? SIS, Office of Secret Intelligence, Majestic 12, TVC 15. Oh, wait, EPA. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I work for a division of the CIA that doesn't officially exist. Super secret. They just kind of turned me loose and let me go nuts. Uh huh. So, can you help me or not? Depends. How do I know you are who you say you are? I have to ask because, funny story, one time a salesman came in and I thought he was buying secrets about the German Chancellor's security detail. Did you hear about what went down in Russia? All of the Soviet Union? <laughs> that was something, huh? No, the U.S. Embassy, the attack. I was there. Really? Well, I definitely heard of that thing you just said. All right, color me convinced. So, Ronald's son, huh? Hey, do you ever notice his name's an anagram for lard on guns? Ironic, isn't it? Hey, yeah. And uh, considering that item posted a few years back in the Worldly Weekly about that pig fat being used as an experimental bullet toxin, not a coincidence. You, you might be onto something there, Mike. I'll look into that for sure. Ronnie's son, Ronnie's son. What do you want to know, Mike? Personal demons, pants size, political capital, sexual proclivities? Hmm? I've got some intelligence that suggests someone in Taipei wants Sung dead. You've got an ear to the ground here, thought you might know more. Political assassinations? Yeah, those are fun. One time I took out an entire soccer stadium just to kill the premier of Namidia. Hey, did you know at 400 miles an hour, soccer balls can decapitate people? I didn't. But Sung? Sure, sure. I can tell you this, Mike. There's a big conference coming up at the Grand Hotel. Sun's gonna be there, along with a few dozen EU bigwigs and the like. I didn't bring my conference pass, and I don't feel like waiting in line. Unless it was worth my while. Taiwanese National Security Bureau is providing the security. You think those cats don't just have oodles of stuff on everybody who might want their boss dead? Hmm. Wouldn't be too hard to slip in and borrow some of that information. Knew that would appeal to you, Mike. Hey, give me a call when you head that away. I'd like to be in on this. You got it. He loves us! He loves us! Contact Steven Heck, Agent Thornton met with Steven Heck, a suspected American intelligence operator based in Taipei. Heck maintains a close watch on all covert activities in Taipei. And he's believed to have information on the assassination plot. By contacting Steven Heck before conducting operations in Taipei, Agent Thornton ensured Heck's cooperation in future missions. I can inform Agent Thornton a diplomatic conference in the Grand Hotel will provide an opportunity to download intelligence data from the NCB, NSB. The records are likely to have more complete files on the assassination plots. New mission, retrieve NSB data from the Grand Hotel. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs>